Hello internet, uh, welcome to El Garajo. Sorry we're late with uh, the, the, the first installment of this week's uh, episodes. Um, I will tell you why. I hurt my back. I have a home gym, which I know will be shockingly hard to believe looking at me, but I really do. Uh, and I hurt my back on Sunday and we were going for some pub grow with my mum. And my wife very kindly said, why don't you have a couple of pints and I'll drive and uh, it'll take away some of the, you know, numb the pain a little bit. And I did, and it did numb the pain very well in the short term but ultimately yesterday i woke up with a really sore back and uh, a, a, a bit of a hangover feeling a bit sorry for myself so there was no chance of cramming a video in um other than that last week fantastic in terms of business really good thank you very much we really appreciate the business it means a lot to a small place like ourselves we did really well we got some nice new stock just lined up over there ready to, to get it cleaned and to come in um, on top of that, some wonderful, like, I, thank you so much, like, uh, great interaction with last week's video, like, just brilliant. Uh, tons of really good commentary, tons of really good questions, loads of phone calls. I uh, really enjoyed it again, as I say, because it's, it's, <laughs> it's the only thing I can speak on with any authority. Um, it's all I know, a little bit of rugby and mainly cars. The other thing then, I'm getting loads of questions about when I'm going to get around to filming that. I tried my best last week, but the wind was too high to get outside shots. And when I did manage to get all the outside shots, um, I was driving it back from an outside shot and one of the parking sensors decided it didn't want to live anymore. So now it's just beeping and beeping and beeping. So I have to wait for a new parking sensor to come in um, before we can do one of those. Other than that though, I got an excellent question on hybrid batteries um, that I'm going to answer. So what we'll do from here, we'll go inside, sit down and I'll walk through that one with you now. So got a really good question um, via email from Aidan Carroll and the question reads, um, as it's a hybrid battery question, um, as the battery range is smaller than EV and will be discharged and require charging more often over the same mileage as an EV, as a consequence, will the battery deteriorate faster? And the second part of the question is, what is the real price cost should you need to replace a battery? Say, for example, a BMW 330e or a Toyota Prius PHEV. So um, I just did a real cursory check because I know there's an aftermarket. So I really quickly just uh, hybrid battery repair near me and who came up where this, well, there was several of them. Um, what are they called? V-I-T-R-O-N-I-X, Vitronics. These were the only guys who actually put prices on the internet. And for a Toyota Prius, shock horror, the aftermarket. <laughs> the thing none of the tinfoil hat people speak about. Thousand euros for a Toyota Prius, a uh, thousand euros for a CT Lexus and an IS Lexus battery. Now they are saying for a, a BMW 330 battery that you will be around the three grand mark. So that, that, that'll be the 330, the 530 and the X5 battery. In saying that, um, it's not a thing you really see very often. You see Prius needing battery replacement quite a bit, but they're up in the like 300,000 mile mark. They're all taxis that it's happening to. Um, because part one of the question, do they, uh, will they deteriorate faster? No, they won't because they're actually designed for a higher milliamp output and input because they expect to be constantly charged all their life. So hybrid batteries don't deteriorate at the same rate as a, a normal battery. And my understanding, which I'm open to correction about, is they have an auxiliary battery that's job is to constantly agitate the battery because with lithium ion the worst thing you can do to a lithium ion battery is leave it in a in one single state be that fully full or fully empty it doesn't like either of those things it needs to constantly be agitated so the, the, there's a high milliamp output our battery uh, auxiliary battery in most hybrid and plug-in hybrid cars secondary to the other 12 volt battery that constantly it agitates them and it, it moves around now, I, as I say, I have seen quite a few, not seen quite a few, but I've heard of quite a few high, high mileage taxis doing it. Now, when these guys re return your battery, because the aftermarket, <laughs> of course, the aftermarket was always coming. There's an, an entrepreneur will find a thing, uh, will, will always find a way to make a few quid off something like this. These guys can actually upgrade your battery pack because the modern batteries that are going into five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year old Prius, are, the batteries are much better now. And they're smaller, easier to package, all that stuff. I had actually seen it on a video online. I was following a guy who got a, a pack for a, a Prius, a really high mileage Prius, it was like 300,000 miles in the US. Um, and he did it himself because it's quite an easy job even at that. Um, so you're going to find, like, these were the first guys, these are the only guys who have prices up. There's a myriad of other guys. Just Google hybrid battery uh, replacement near me. There's a million companies starting to do it. It's really kicking off. 
um, and some will be cheaper and the more guys that do it the cheaper it will get and it's the same with ev batteries it's exactly the same the aftermarket will take over if you go to the main dealer for anything you're gonna they're gonna get you that's how it works like they're they're quite expensive and you'll find that you can generally save over a third like up to a two thirds of the sort of price you'll get from certain main dealers on certain things. Um, I know a story of a, of, a, of a C350 Mercedes that had catastrophic engine failure. And the reason I know the story is because it happened to us. Now, luckily it was covered through the AA. So the AA warranty covered this. It had a catastrophic engine failure, which is very rare in them, but it was enough damage to the engine that it damaged the gearbox. So it was engine and gearbox had to be replaced. <laughs> now, despite all the headline figures everyone likes to talk about with EV battery, it was 20 grand. That's for a Porsche Macan or something outrageous like that. That is not for a Nissan Leaf. It just isn't. Um, just to give scope on that, the replacement for the engine and gearbox from Mercedes through the AA, I saw the invoice, was 18,500 euros. So these are all equal scales. Had that because it was the AA, they had to go through the, the manufacturer for the warranty. That, that was the way it worked. But if it was me trying to do that, I can assure you it wouldn't have cost me a fraction of that. Less than a tenth, I'd say I would have been able to source an engine and gearbox for that. In the same way that as long as you don't go directly to the manufacturer for battery replacement and that kind of stuff on hybrid or EV, it's not going to be this crazy figure you're seeing. Um, so that's kind of my take on it. I, it. The long and the short of the answer is no, they don't, dis they don't d degradate faster because they're designed to do it. They're expecting it. It's a different type of uh, system running them. The, the, the EV cars don't have the high voltage, the, 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 the auxiliary battery, as far as I know. So you'll get a bit more degradation in them, but because you're charging them up, so you can, you can balance them as well. So there's a way of balancing those batteries. What will happen to even EV or hybrid batteries, which a lot of people don't know about again, um, they'll find the weakest cell and they'll set the balance as the weakest cell. So your whole thing will come down. But what you can actually do is go in and find that cell and you can rebalance that cell up to the higher levels where it comes back to life and then your, your range can go way back up. It, it's all simple enough stuff. It's not voodoo, despite what <laughs> some of the crazy people will say online. Um, the tinfoil hat brigade, like they're out in force at the minute. It's kind of crazy. Um, I don't really want to talk about EV anymore, but I don't mind answering questions on hybrid batteries because people don't seem to be as upset about hybrid as they are about EV for whatever reason, and I just don't care. Um, but yeah, that's it. Again, thank you so much for the uh, interactions with last week's video. They were fantastic. Um, and again, yeah, put your, your comments down below. Send me an email. Give me a call. I really enjoyed them. I'm having a great time actually doing this stuff, answering questions for people and chatting to people about this stuff. It's great. So but that's it again. I'm going to wrap it up here, and we will talk to you probably Thursday this week.